Yo. Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I'm Josh, your humble host, and accompanied tonight is Andy. Hi. Hello. Uh, we are watching uh, Incredulous uh, by Annika Ross. Uh, if you would do me a favor and consider watching all the way through, it helps with my watch time and the YouTube algorithm. Like, subscribe, share, all that kind of good stuff. Um, yeah, we have Incredulous. This is our first time with a Miss Annika Ross. Go ahead and give her a sub and a like. Uh, and um, as usual, I don't read the tagline, so I have no idea what we're going into. Um, but um, it is a horror film. So, um, yeah, let's check it out. Sweetheart. Hi. Uh, where's Dodd? Uh, he's just finished up around at the course. He's picking up burgers from Teddy's on the way home. Nice. Um, I'm gonna bring my stuff to my room. Okay, there, there's some boxes in there you'll need to move off the bed. Sound intense. I thought there was going to be a lot more boxes than that. <sighs> that bed had no bounce to it not, whatsoever. Not a little, little bit. <sighs> It'd be nice <sighs> if he wasn't eating in there. You will not believe today's round. Oh, or like a tinkle, right? You know that one that has the pond in the middle? And so Rob bets me that I can't hit it across the pond all the way to the green. I know, right? So I smack the heck out of that thing, and it skips across the pond four times. <laughs> oh, wow, so you won the bet. Yeah, well, no, actually, it, it did hit the edge and fall in. But I hit it way better than Rob could. <laughs> Anyways, Lena, um, we're really glad you're back. And uh, sorry about your room, though. I've, I've been using it as an office space since you've been gone. Thanks, Dad. No, it's okay. Um, but do you know like where it. my boxes are? I think some are missing. Some are in storage, and um, the others we gave to Goodwill. Mom, are you serious? Why would you? Well, like your father said, we didn't think you'd be coming back for them. You're 23. We are very sorry about Julia. Yeah. You know, we really liked him, and we thought you guys would go the distance. So did I. So, um, when are you guys leaving for town? Well, we are all packed and ready for a 4 p.m. flight. Um, when you're in Mexico, are you going to do any golfing? Yeah, it's the Gulf of Mexico. Dad joke, I get it, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dad? That's not creepy at all. Mom? Where did you 
go. Oh shit. That's a kid response. <laughs> seen you up this early in the morning. Yeah, I didn't get much sleep last night. No kidding, you didn't get much sleep. I thought you Jeez. may have been rearranging the furniture water. in there. Hmm? No, uh, there's not much furniture left to move anyways. I don't know. Anyway, like, are um, they just drinking hot water? Have a safe flight. I'm heading out. All right. Like that? <sighs> Maybe Love they you. had tea bags. Love you. One of my bosses is a titch bit pervy, but it's neither here nor there. Besides, I might be able to get a raise out of him if I convince him that he can hit it. Other than that, though, I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad everything's going so well, minus the creepy boss, even if you pull a raise. Thanks, dude. You handling the transition all right? With all things considered, I think so. I don't know, it was messy though. Messy how? Like, throwing your laundry into the street and yelling for all the neighbors to hear? Messy? Messy. I don't know, he's not who I thought he was. Well, if you ever need a night in or help finding a rebound at a bar, let me know. Thanks, dude. Hey, you know, my parents are going on vacation. Uh, do you want to come over tonight or tomorrow night? Shit, I have family coming into town, but when they're gone, all right? Yeah, for sure. They've spilled a little bit more tea than this by now. Like, this is kind of like the super slow burn. Oh, there we go. Oh, who the fuck is that? Okay, lady, what the fuck are you telling us? I'm here. 
can open the door, ma'am. You're safe. Shit. Mm. That was too quick. If there were someone here, they get there so fast. They're not here now. Mm-hmm. Somebody else was here. He was right outside my door right before you guys got here. I know this must be frightening. Maybe have a friend spend the night tonight. Or put some pepper spray on the nightstand. Might help you feel a bit safer tonight. Might help you feel a bit safe. It, like, oh. dude was... And as a rule of thumb, man, it may be safer to keep your doors locked. I want to know if it's all in her head. Hello? When the cops came, they said that nobody was here, but I saw Anna. What did it look like? I'm not exactly sure. I, I, I didn't look at it close enough to make out detail, but it's almost like it, it's somebody's shadow. Did you tell this to the police? No, I just told them that somebody broke in. You've gone through so much lately. It's hard to move back home. It's worse to break up. I can't imagine the kind of stress you're in. I am stressed. I'm more so afraid. It speaks to me. What does it say? You know, it sort of reminds me of... Of what? Of him. Julian? Look, I'm sorry I can't stay here longer. This is hectic with family in town. Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, you just creeped her the Thanks fuck out. Me. So what happened with Julian? I love you. Love you too. Call me next time, don't text, okay? I want to see it for myself. Okay, I will. fuck was that? Huh? <laughs> yeah. I was right in the meat too. Like, dude, like, damn. Yeah. 
Dude, the door's open. Anna? Anna. 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 Shock from that foot, like that foot injury. And there he is. Calm down. What do you want me? I'm not going to stop leaving you alone. What are you screaming at? What? What is he? What is he doing here? He's my friend too. Probably screaming. Because everything you know. Well, holy shit, Lena, what did you do? I, I didn't do anything. Is this because I'm here? Hey, just... Okay, seriously, Lena, you're acting fucking crazy right now. Where did those bruises come from? Yeah, I don't like the implication of your question. How should I know? Hey, that blood looks fresh, and I've been here for hours, and there's no way I could have done that to her. The bruises. They're old. Where did they come from? Uh, you think I did this? Are you fucking kidding me right now? She probably I want to know if, that, like, I get the fucking kind of feeling this has to do with trauma. For God's sake, the girl is obviously outside her mind right now. So how can you be friends with him when somebody talks like this? Julie? Don't spare me. She just wants to get at me for the breakup. I'm sorry. I can't fucking believe this. You two are crazy. No, no, no. This is fucking crazy. Wait, what are you doing? I'm calling the police. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't call the cops. Just get away from me. Anna, stop this. Get away from me. No, 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 no. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> This is about confronting the 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 trauma the, the you know pretty deep ones tonight. Yeah, yeah. I, um so um now that you're here at the end with me, um if you <clears throat> Do 
If you have uh, anybody that you know that might be dealing with trauma, um, it's hard to it's hard to help somebody that's dealing with trauma because it's not like you can ever like even if even if you have trauma on your own your trauma isn't like anybody else's trauma and uh, all you can ever really do is kind of support them um, look after yourself look after your friends be safe be happy be healthy for me and Andy we love you all stay safe We'll see you in the next one.